and welcome back to Art Therapy with Jen. Today I'm doing a magazine collage page in my composition notebook journal. I've gone through my whole stash of images that I've saved over the years and just picked out ones that I thought would come together for this page. And it all really jumped off on this image you're seeing here. I saw that castle and I knew I had to do a page with it. I wasn't sure what exactly I was going to do. But I knew I was going to use it because I thought, man, this just looks like some far away castle. I don't know. You know what I mean? Just some images you're like, I'm going to use this. So I jumped off from there and then I went through my stash and saw what I could put with it. You know, looking at different textures, looking at images um, that I thought would work with the story and you see there, I just, I just lay things on top of the page y'all and I... There's just something that goes, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> I go through it that way. I know, super scientific. But I'm going to put some music on, and y'all can watch as I build up the background. And then I will be back here in just a little bit as we get more of this page together. just different bits of magazine with the textures and images on it and then just doing it in strips and gluing it on top of each other. I don't know. I'm, I'm like addicted to it a little bit. I even have a whole bin that has nothing but um, just random strips of paper in it. I don't know. It's just something that makes me so happy. But I'm really enjoying where this page is going. It's starting to tell a story here. Uh, we have this girl looking out the window. I have to think, is she looking out the window of the castle, dreaming of what's beyond? Or is she looking out her window to the castle and dreaming of going there? Not quite sure yet. And we have the horse there, because for some reason I kept the phrase wild horses kept coming in my mind as I was doing this. And then we also have the other girl in that bottom right-hand corner there. Uh, I wasn't sure. I didn't think she was going to work on that page. And the more I started, um, like, fussy cutting her and tearing the bottom of that uh, dress off, I really liked the way she fit there. And now I picked a whole bunch of things out of my bin of words. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do, too, and just see what words stand out to me. And I pulled them out of there, and I finished cutting all around them. Uh, I'm so weird about putting words on top of pages. I just, I want to cut every little bit out of the background that I can most of the time. And 
I just I just have a ball with it. This is one of the times that I really do enjoy. And the words I ended up going with are, of all the evenings that have disappeared from my memory, this one is distinctive in the way that it remains. And then I have explore, and then I have as we go through life, we find ourselves on certain paths that just kind of happen organically. Then I have wild at heart there at the bottom. And then on the next page, I put two different images together with it's time to be someone new. And then I have life is short and the world is wide. And then I have never say no to adventures. Always say yes, otherwise you will lead a very dull life and dream so that's why I'm not sure if uh, one or both of these ladies are trying to leave the castle and go out in the world or if they're out in the world and they dream of being in the castle and going on adventure or maybe one's in the castle and one's outside and they dream of each other's life you know kind of like that um, the name escapes me but that movie you know, where the girls are twins and one grew up a really rich life and then one's kind of a tomboy and they switch lives. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those situations, but um, super fun. Like I haven't, like I said, I haven't pinned down the specific story yet. It could go so many ways and that's what's so fun about it. I almost treat these um, collage pages as kind of visual prompts or writing prompts. I used to be really into writing back in the day and I would just love to just check out blogs for writing prompts and things and I don't know it's just so fun and here y'all know I got to break out my gel pens and my paint pens and stuff and I really wanted to highlight that castle so I took my um, red I think this is a uniball pen and I just really wanted to highlight it and then I like pushing that white ink around so I really wanted to bring that castle out even more and make it look kind of magical which that's another thing maybe this is just a whole fantasy cooked up and that's something these girls dream of is this you know the beautiful horses and the castle and an adventure that could totally be something as well and I'm still breaking out the pen. I was just in a doodling mood today, y'all. And I've been really enjoying taking the pens and um, adding different textures, not just the, um, you know, scribbles that I do, but, you know, adding little triangles here. I'm adding all these curly cues because I want it to be a little more fanci fanciful. <laughs> That's a really hard word to say, y'all. And I just like what it does. It adds another layer of texture on top of the texture that I've already created there. And now I want that horse to come out kind of like the castle does. So I went around with the white pen all around the horse. And I'm just using gel pen, y'all. Um, I've had some people ask what I write on top of magazine with. Uh, this is a Uniball Signo. Um, I also use... Uh, I think it's a jelly roll pen. I don't know. I use whatever gel pen I can get a hold of. <laughs> They've all worked pretty good. Uh, you just have to watch smearing on certain kinds of them if you're going to be going over top with a sealant or something. But in here I got my good old Sharpie out. <laughs> Can't go wrong with a Sharpie. And that's how I'm going to end it today, y'all. We're just going to do a close-up of the page here. I had so much fun with this one. Um, I was a big fantasy reader growing up. And, um, you know, this is just the princess dream adventures. Maybe the start of a really fun fantasy adventure. But thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.